Here's a cool trick to make polygroups very quickly. I feel like it can be kind of clunky to, you know, select things in ZBrush to make a polygroup. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you a way that to really speed up this process. So I have uh, a character right here. I'm just going to go ahead and export him out of ZBrush and OBJ body. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring him into Maya. Okay. And now you might be saying, wait a minute, I thought I was going to do polygroups, but you'll see in a second here. Um, I think this is a cool trick. So if I go into base mesh, here's the body. Here he is. Okay, let's take a look at his UVs. His UVs are nothing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this. I'm going to go to UV and I'm going to just choose anything, planar map, that's fine. It doesn't really matter what it is. Um, it, it, it just sewed everything together. Then I'm going to go in here, turn object X on for symmetry. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy up um, where I want the polygroups. So let's say if I want his arm to be a polygroup, you'll notice that it's symmetrical here. I can double click on that and I'm going to go here to cut. Uh, I want his head to be a polygroup, so I might cut that off. And now I can just press G to cut it again because G is repeat last tool. Maybe I want his hands to be a polygroup, so I'm going to shift double click on this edge here. Obviously, the you know the better your edge flow is, the easier it'll be. I'll just press G to cut that, and um, and I feel like why am I doing it here? I just feel like it's for me it's just faster and easier to select it, and I can be more precise selecting in um, in Maya here. Um, and then and then we'll kind of see the trick in a second. So I'm just going to cut his legs off, um, and once again I can I can obviously cut him however I want. Um, maybe I want to cut his chin off. Um, you know, I feel like that's kind of a, a good polygroup to have um, available. So to do that, I might kind of um, select, you know, halfway through, and then I can control click and drag. There we go. And now if I look in wireframe, okay, it's cut through there. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And I'll also cut off the bottom of his jaw. So I think I'll do like from here maybe to here. And then up like that. That looks pretty good. Um, I'll cut that. OK, great. Now that I have all those cuts, um, OK, now what? I'm just going to go ahead and kind of separate this. So if I still go to UV shell, I can go like this. And I'm just going to go to layout. OK. Once again, it doesn't matter. I'm not UV mapping this in the, in the traditional sense. But what I'm going to do now is going to go like this. Export selection. And I'm going to call this OBJ. I'm going to call this UV cuts. It's not really UV. It's just the UV cuts. OK. Um, now I'm going to go back into ZBrush. And with this guy still selected, because I didn't change his topology at all, I'm just going to go ahead and import, and I'm going to go ahead and import OBJ body cuts on that. And if I want to see if it actually, if he actually has the correct UV map, I can come down here to UV map, and I can say morph. Okay, and I can see that yes, he did morph into kind of our bad UVs from Maya. Okay, but now what I can do is I can come to polygroups, and I can say. Um, auto groups with UV. Okay, and if I turn on poly F, boom, I have my um, poly groups on here exactly where it was uh, set up. So now if I hold down control shift, I can click on that and hide, you know, whatever I need to hide. Looks a little uh, like the, um, I think I might have extra subtools in here, but um, really a cool trick that I found to be super fast as far as creating polygroups. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, if this was helpful, make sure to subscribe.